we're doing a, a lighter piece on the Oscar ceremonies, mm-hmm. and I'm just curious, where has been the most unusual place you've left your statue, and has anyone ever asked to borrow it? Um, the most unusual, I tell you what was odd, was taking it home on the plane, okay. because I wrapped it in an old sock. Um, to keep it from getting scratched and um, had it in my handbag and um, when it went through the you know that thing that checks for guns of course they pounced on it because they clearly thought it was some sort of weapon which indeed it it could easily be you could kill someone very um, efficiently with an Oscar and um, just a quick tap to the side of the head and they uh, unwrapped it and of course all hell broke loose and they all wanted a picture with it you know Cause, I, mean, I mean you could have got a nuclear missile through while they were looking at that Oscar nobody was watching nobody knew what was going on everybody was going could I have my picture taken with this Oscar <laughs> everyone in customs was like they know, and then uh, they abducted it on the plane to take up to the flight deck so I think probably the most unusual place is in the flight deck of a, of a jumbo jet. Okay. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is known for uh, the, the huge salaries uh, he commands for his pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but you're the one with the, with the, uh, the serious acting credits. Yeah, so I'm cheap, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that uh, maybe he was a little intimidated when uh, you, you two first met? I don't think Arnold's intimidated by anything, actually. But what he is, is very sort of honest and rather humble about um, him and acting. He's, you know, he's, oh. he's very, um, he was very eager to learn and to, to play it absolutely to the hilt. And he does such a great job in it because he approaches it, he approached it with absolute humility, if you know what I mean. I mean, he didn't sort of think, he knows it's a very different kettle of fish to doing a, a, a something like True, True Lies. It's a very different thing because he had to present lots of different layers of emotion and, um, you know, no explosions to sort of, uh, as it were, get in the way. And um, he does it absolutely wonderfully and really didn't need any help from me um, and, and, and wasn't intimidated but was just charming to, to be with. I, I liked him very, very much. He was wonderful to me. I think most American audiences uh, think of you as primarily as a dramatic actress. And then we saw you in Cheers uh, doing a guest appearance, which you were hilarious. <laughs> have, have you had uh, to fight to, uh, to get some comedic parts or have been people been surprised that you wanted to do comedies? Not really, no. <clears throat> I mean, I started in comedy anyway, so it's something I came from. So in my own country, um, generally speaking, it's sort of known that, that that's where I started. Um, here, yes, uh, but the first film I did was a comedy, and then I did Peter's Friends and um, Much Ado About Nothing, and and although they're not, they were, 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 weren't seen by loads and loads of people because they were independents. Um, I think probably, yes, it'll come as a bit of a surprise to, to most people here. But it's not, um, it's, it's something I kind of grew up with. 